like any other big data enthusiast i was also the person who went to youtube searched for different different videos big data what is big data what all things are happening in big data so i did youtubing then i went to udemy coursera all those courses i went through that i got the basic knowledge there but somewhere i felt that everything is scattered everywhere like something you can get something some concepts of big data are good there then you won't be getting another concept good so you need to search again like where where can i get the exist like more about this thing so that was bit scattered and it didn't had anything like point by point sequence proper sequence was not present two years back i was the person sitting on that side of the table and looking on these kind of podcast and wondering and like will i be able to do these kind of things and will i reach to that point and two years later uh, i'm sitting on this side of table hey this is mansa nagraj from trendy tech having graduated in the year 2020 and now working with one of the top firms jp morgan chase let's get in a conversation with this young and hard working data engineer aditi to understand her story her journey of challenges and eventual success keep watching until the end to know how to become a successful data engineer well hi aditi a very warm welcome thank you so much for joining in and i'm super excited to know your journey as a data engineer without further ado shall we get started with your introduction uh hi vansa yeah for sure but before introducing myself I j- i'll just want to put one point so around 2 years back i was the person sitting on that side of the table and looking on these kind of podcast and wondering and like will i be able to do these kind of things and will i reach to that point and 2 years later uh, i'm sitting on this side of table and being one of the speaker and this is really a big very big opportunity thing for me and i think i'll always thank the trendy tech for this opportunity that i'm getting uh and so about me i am aditi aditi sinha and uh, i am a covid batch pass out 2020 batch pass out student i did my btech in computer science from cv raman college of engineering in bhubneshwar and after that i was getting trained like i did an internship come training in infosys mysore after which i switched to a company like i got a proper working experience in uh, cine media uh, where i was working in a java domain and currently i'm working in as associate as an associate in jp morgan chase in uh, glasgow uk that's excellent um, uh, aditi so uh, you started off your journey uh, into the it industry as a system engineer at infosys that's what you mentioned that's a typical start for a uh, it professional so uh, well as at this point in time uh, did you have any exposure to big data tech stack whatsoever and uh, when was it that you started developing interest towards it in case if you didn't uh, weren't exposed to the big data tech stack in infosys i was actually a trainee so i didn't had any kind of work experience there because uh, when you are doing internship or training in infosys they it is usually kind of 9 to 5 uh, study hours like they just teach you different technologies which you might be working after completing your internship so they didn't got any proper uh, work experience there but when i was working in cine media there i was working in java domain so if you ask about big data or data related things i i was a perfectly a noob i didn't had any kind of experience in big data or i didn't know even big data what is actually a big data because i had conception that big data is data that is very very big that's it i didn't know anything after that but after working for 2 years in java domain i realized that i need some change because a lot of things were my job profile started to get a bit repetitive and i was feeling a very monotonous about it so i just started exploring what i can do next what are what all fields are there that is where i like hooked towards data because i already had some interest in data and data related things so there i found what all uh, streams what all domains are there regarding data where i found data engineering big data uh, data analytics and all and finally after doing a bit of regressive research for months i found out that okay big data is something i want to do because it involves data as well as coding part so both of them were my interest so that is where i landed right okay now i want to like move ahead in big data 
Excellent, nice. So uh, the second company that you started working for was uh, Cinemedia, right? So even there, yes. uh, there wasn't much of big data related uh, tasks that you were involved in, I suppose, right? Right. No, because Cinemedia was a company regard, related to video technologies. They didn't have any um, bunch bulk of data. So it was just server client based applications. That's it. So we didn't ha even had any big data kind of uh, department in our company. Okay. So it was just zero. <laughs> okay. So, um, well, after having done a lot of research and you wanted to uh, switch your career to data engineering, uh, what was the roadmap that you sought after, like uh, for gaining the necessary knowledge to gain expertise in this uh, field? Um, probably if you can uh, let us know your preparation strategies and the resources that came handy for you, helped you in this journey. Yeah, for sure. Like any other big data enthusiast, I was also the person who went to YouTube, searched for different, different videos, big data, what is big data, what all things are happening in big data. So I did YouTubing, then I went to Udemy, Coursera, all those courses, I went through that. But somewhere I felt I got the basic knowledge there, but somewhere I felt that everything is scattered everywhere. Like something you can get something some concepts of big data are good there then you won't be getting another concept good so you need to search again like where wh where can i get the exist like more about this thing so that was a bit scattered and it didn't had anything like point by point sequence proper sequence was not present that is where i came um, uh, one of the video where Sumit sir, sir was teaching and that was an introduction to big data. That was the very first video I saw of Sumit sir and the way he was explaining even complex thing like that caught my mind and then I started looking like typically like all those trendy tech videos, all of them I viewed, all of them including the podcast and his teaching everything. That is where I found out like okay this is the resource I am going to glue it and that is where the journey started with trendy tech and if you talk about preparation strategies so when i confirmed that okay i'm going to join this uh, trendy tech course preparation strategy was my sumit sir's notes i mean the the things he was teaching so i created notes out of it uh two things i would like to mention when i was preparing sumit sir is a the way he teaches is a a very layman way of teaching even someone who doesn't know anything about big data would know which i was actually i didn't know anything knew anything about big data i got to know like i used to make notes about whatever he said i it it went straight away in my head and then while he teaches the best thing is if he is explaining a concept he'll just say it like okay this is something that interview interviewer might ask you He'll twerk something out of it and then say like into where my task this as well. So I used to box it in my notes like okay this might be getting like there was a concept in bucketing. He was teaching bucketing and there he gave a lot of options like maybe he lost this, maybe he lost that. So I just kept notes out of it. So that was very useful when I was like doing my last minute preparations. And second thing was um, okay. So in Trendy Tech we used to have those recording sessions. So that was about someone's experience, how the interview interview went or maybe some complex concept was again um, like explained by someone. So these kind of things were there. So I made a lot use of that kind of resources and just combined it all to get uh, what I'm having today. Excellent. Yeah. So basically, we're really happy that uh, the uh, Sumit sir's teaching has helped you a lot uh, in gaining the knowledge that you are looking for. And uh, also the way that you have prepared yourself, like the notes that you have explained, pretty much shows the hard work that you have put in and also your enthusiasm towards learning things. Um, very glad to uh, know that, uh, Aditi. And uh, moving ahead, uh, would like to know, uh, you know, like what were the different companies that you were interviewed for and uh, how has the interview process been in these companies? Uh, well, more specifically about the interview process in JP Morgan. Okay. So to be very honest, I didn't interview a lot of companies. So there were a very few out of which JP Morgan was the very first company I went for an interview. And I got the offer, so I just sticked to it and then uh, didn't went ahead with other companies. 
so i'll focus more on jpmc jp morgan interview process only because i went through only this uh, the interview process i'll say is not very different from what we used to have in india uh, it's like similar introduction round and then uh, technical rounds then behavioral rounds but the only difference is they are asking more about communication skills as well like you should be good at soft skill also so this is the only difference that i found here if i tell you about the process like the very fo- first and foremost thing was resume because you need to have a very good short crisp and very job description specific resume because that is the deal breaker for you to get any interview call be it any domain i think not, not just big data but anything so this was the very first thing and then i i got a call from jpmc that okay we are uh, we like your uh, experiences and this and that and uh, we want to interview you so the very first round i had actually three technical round of interview in jp morgan and the final one was behavioral round so first one was kind of introduction with the hiring manager actually he just gave what all things are the department does what tech stack they are using what is the problem they are trying to solve and all these things and then they touched every points of the topics they had mentioned in the job description including the agile methodologies uh, clean writing of clean code that is actually very necessary when you are in uh, these kind of big companies so how you can write big um, then um, it was uh, build tools that they will be using like these are the things apart from big data topics and um, yeah it was sort of this this was a short interview where yeah it was because it was an introduction round and then after that i got another mail that okay you are selected for this round and we we would like to have more interviews with you so there i they i had like continuous two rounds of interviews where one was specific very specific to project project related question the questions were like what why are you, you making this project what is the use case behind it what nodes hardware specific specifications software specifications and all and after that i had one round which was a um, uh, big data things into depth like all those big data concepts and since i didn't had a lot of experience uh in cloud and things so they were expecting like medium level of uh, questions answers from from me so yeah uh, big data plus ds data structures data structure also not very high level those tree and uh, graphs but yeah basic basic search algorithms and all so data structure and also language language they were very concerned like if i am able to code in a particular language or not so yeah these two interviews i technical interviews were very rigorous and yeah and after that there was a behavioral question that was bit a bit situational based question like if you had this kind of situation in office what will you do if your team member is not working what will you say so these kind of situation based questions so this was the complete process of jp morgan okay excellent that was a very good uh, you know like it was really insightful whatever the information that you have given basically it's like uh, you should be uh, well prepared on writing very clean code especially in uh, good companies like that and also the um, various deployment processes like the ci cd part of it that was important and just to summarize the things that you have highlighted uh, specifically the uh, project part of it like uh, project is also very important that you uh, explain and uh, also additional things like dsa and um, uh, sql could also be very important in such interviews so that's nice uh, thanks aditi uh, for that uh, well uh, since you have relocated to uk i just wanted to know like how was your relocation experience uh, uh, to uk and how did you tumble upon this opportunity with uh, jp morgan okay so tumbling upon jp morgan was a pure i don't know if it was a luck or i don't know so i was trying to like switch company and i was like um, applying in a in a lot of places because when i uh, read about big data what all big data what all companies are there that is extensively using big data technology i found out that banking sector is the one that is the biggest consumer of the big data because they have a lot and lot of data and now when i'm working here in bank i can i can like really see it like how much data they are having so yeah so i was a, already a bit inclined towards banking structure including all those major banks and that is where i started applying for those banks and uh, 
the I tumbled upon JPMC using my resume maybe because that is the very first thing about me. So yeah, I applied using the portals. I used the LinkedIn very extensively. I didn't buy that LinkedIn premium to be very honest because uh, uh, LinkedIn, normal LinkedIn was doing the work as well. So yeah, I used LinkedIn. Uh, I used different company portals. I used, yeah, this is the main two things that I used to get uh, this JP opportunity and relocating to UK was a bit a kind of dream come true for me <laughs> uh, where uh, it was very pretty easy going process because of the people here in uh, JP they just took care of everything so it was very easy from the, their side JP people side and they took care of everything including visa including my traveling and everything so yeah it was very uh, like okay process for me so much easier uh, it was since it was taken care by the company so uh, it was pretty easy yes. for you all right so um, well uh, recently i had a word with one of our learners who was uh, looking to relocate to uk for job opportunities so there are many such uh, enthusiasts as well um, so since you have gone through this uh, procedure already any tips or advice uh, for such uh, enthusiasts for people like them because i was also one of the people that time i just say there are three things that you should basically focus one apart from your technical skills so first is resume that i have already mentioned earlier as well like you should have a very good crisp resume that and it should match to the job description to the to any job role you are applying so this is the very first and basic thing second is soft skills because when i was interviewing here in uk i found out so before in india i applied as a fresher before cine media i was just trying to apply as a fresher and there we had hr rounds and everything so their, their soft skill was a bit lesser prioritized based on your technical skills but here i saw that people are also concerned about your soft skill hard skill is different you should have that and soft skill is something you should also have that so this is a bit of difference that i felt so you should be able to communicate with your interviewer very nicely because i felt that interviewer here wants to know how much you are eager to learn rather than what you already know so this was a difference and the third thing is um so in after every interview we uh, interviewer asks like is there something you want to ask or is there any question from my side so in this point i feel there is a part there is a chance of getting a brownie point where you can just ask not just not go for a generic question but get get prepared for that kind of questions maybe it could revolve around the interviewer herself himself or about the company or about something that you don't know already or don't the interviewer didn't explain to you like before the interview so that could earn you a brownie point is what i feel so yeah these three things if you have and just be confident because you already know because sumit sir's way of teaching and the the things that you already have in that package is good enough for you really appreciate aditi yeah thank you so much it was such a pleasure talking to you uh, being in conversation with you and i really like the energy that you have uh, put in and uh, also your hard work and um, i mean without your hard work it's definitely not possible to reach such great heights we from trendy tech team would be wishing you loads of success more such success in your future endeavors thank you so much thank you thank you mansa it was really nice talking to you as well so guys if you have enjoyed the video and found it informative do show some love and support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more such interesting conversations with expert data engineers if you have any queries related to career in big data do mention them in the comments below and we will try to address them in the upcoming videos Thank you so much for watching.